up, wake up You know I love to see your face with no makeup, makeup Hey guys, Epic Zara here of Zara Nicola TV and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest closure wig ever. So you guys definitely stay tuned if you want to learn how to make this super easy protective style. I'm literally just using a hot glue gun and a little bit of needle and thread. Make I know, make I know, make I know. Cause you know say I did try for you. You know say I go ride for you. You know we've been best friends for a year now. Oh, 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 oh. Summer 16, yeah, we're here now. Yeah. I've been keeping it key, no feeling. Oh, no, no, no. That's why I didn't sing this song so you feel. Okay, guys, so this is what you need. The first thing you need is a butterfly clip. It will hold the hair out of place on the closure. You also need a wig head. I recommend the canvas block and get one in your size. Now you also need a dome cap. I prefer this for a closure wig. It's really, really comfortable and easy to wear. You need some black thread, some T-pins to hold down the closure, and tracks optionally. You need scissors, you need a razor comb. This will help you to adjust the baby hairs as well as shape the wig. You need a wig head block stand. You also need tweezers, glue sticks for the glue gun, for the hot glue gun. You need a curved needle for the closure, and you need a hot glue gun. This is the most important tool of the trade because it's what's going to make this process extremely easy. So guys, this is the box that the hair came in. Really quickly, I wanted to show you what I received. I got some samples of the other textures and I got four bundles of 24 inches in the coily texture. I also got a closure in the same texture that's 20 inches. The box comes with a little pamphlet that shows you how to maintain the hair, how to style it, what products to use on it. It's really fantastic. And upon opening the hair, I noticed that the texture is super duper soft and everything is really well made. I was very pleased with that. So guys, what I'm doing right now is just pinning the closure down. Unfortunately, I didn't have any T-pins, and I know it may be a bit difficult to see, but I'm going to pin animation right here that shows you exactly how I pinned it down. Let me know, let me know, let me know, if I'm more than just a friend to you. So now I'm just sewing the closure onto the wig cap and I'm going underneath through the wig cap then through the closure. I've just tied the end of the thread here in a typical rope knot and as I'm going underneath I'm making sure to take the needle under the thread that I've already attached. That will make it extremely secure. It's also a very fast method. When I'm sewing down closures, I like to sew down one side, sew down the other side, and then sew down the back. So that's exactly what you guys will see me doing here. As I complete the side, I make a simple knot. I usually do it twice so that it's super duper secure and that's what you guys see me doing right now. After I do that, I just cut off the excess thread, I secure the thread again, and then I start on the other side. I want to show this to you guys one more time so I could be sure that there's no confusion. Remember all I'm doing is taking the needle underneath through the wig cap, then through the closure, and making sure to bring it back through the thread that I've already attached to the wig. After all of that, after I finish all of that, I just knot the thread twice and cut off the excess so I can move on to the next section. You don't want to be so low. I go hang my tea for you. But you want my tea for sure. Yeah, yeah. Let me know, let me know. If I'm more than just a friend. Here, I'm just doing the back so you guys can see exactly what's occurring. So guys, I just wanted to remind you that this hair is from Her Given Hair and I got four bundles of the coily texture in 24 inches and a 20 inch closure in the same texture. A big shout out to them for sponsoring this video 
And you can find all of the pertinent information regarding their Instagram, Twitter, their website down below in the description box. So make sure you guys follow them and check them out. Okay guys, so now that we've finished the closure, it's time to move on to the back section and what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring this piece of track so I can attach it. Now I'm cutting it and when I do attach it, what I'll be doing is adding just a dot of glue and I'm always sure when starting out not to attach any hair to the elastic band so that it can still be malleable. So after I've secured the edge with just a little bit of glue, I go on to do the rest of the track. This is just one way to do this. And yeah, you guys, don't forget to thumbs up. Oh, wake up, wake up. You know I love to see your face. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat the process with the second track. However, this time I'm going to cut the track while it's on the head. I like to use this method when I'm unsure of my measuring or I feel like the length could change somewhere in the middle because I'm not exactly super precise. Now if you guys notice, what I'm doing is I'm kind of doubling the tracks since we're not actually sewing it. I'm stacking tracks on top of one another. Just be very careful not to have the tracks too close in the back so that when you get to the top, there aren't gaps because if there are gaps when you get to the top, people are gonna be able to see that cap and that's not cute. Anyway, as you guys can see, this is a super easy process and I'm just continuing. So now we're on the side and you see me just stacking more hair. I think I actually did it a little too close here. Don't be like me, you guys. At a certain point, I actually begin putting tracks on the elastic band. This will help the hair to look super realistic, especially when I cover it with the closure. Be sure to be very neat when you come to this section because if you're sloppy, sometimes the glue does dry a bit white and we don't want that to be visible. Okay guys, so now we're at the top portion of the wig and what I do here is a little different. I don't put the tracks all the way to the edge so I can ensure that this top middle section is very full. After I've finished filling out this top middle section, I will go back to doing my normal pattern of edge to edge. And that's what you guys see me doing here to close up the wig. So guys, I did end up having to improvise a bit because I was a bit liberal in the back section. Thankfully, this hair is super duper coily and all of those little mistakes are very well hidden. So guys, that's the wig. I'm going to show you how to slay your closure in a minute, but a quick word from our sponsors. Five, four, three, two. So guys, I've already cut out the portion of the wig cap that was underneath the closure. What I did was I made sure I avoided the thread and left just enough to protect what I've sewn. Now for the slayage. Basically what you see me doing here is just thinning out the hairline. It was like super thick when I tried it on. I was like, oh no honey, that is not going to fly. So. I'm just plucking it out so I can ensure it looks super natural and people will really think it's my given hair. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. 
why I didn't sing this song so you feel me. Yeah, yeah. I just wanna let you know. No, they hide no more. As you're plucking, be sure to pluck from the roots so that you don't mistakenly rip the lace. You don't want to be so low. I go hang my tea for you. But you want my tea. So you guys, I'm a huge fan of the middle part and what I'm doing now is just parting the hair so that I can define a part. They actually gave me a free part closure. So yeah, I had to make my own part. And after I part it, I'm really just clearing the hair out of the section that I've parted. I know that's a lot of parts, you guys, but just bear with me. Thanks. Love you guys. Oh, no, no. So now I'm going back into those edges, trying to get them snatched, trying to get them fleeky. We don't want them to be too thick. We want them to look like our given edges, you guys. Okay, so I've parted off a small section of the edges, super small, so that I can define that area and make some really sexy baby hairs. As you can see, in between the two areas that I've portioned off, there's a little line and what I'm doing is I'm just removing excess hair so it can look more like a natural hairline so I'm still going in on that hairline y'all but make sure that you try on the wig periodically so that you can ensure the hairline looks like your hairline and not anybody else's. We want it to look as realistic as possible. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty satisfied. So what I'm doing now is just going in with my little razor comb and cutting the excess length off of the baby hairs. We don't want them to be like dumb long, you guys. We want them to look natural. Unless, of course, you like the long baby hair look, in which case, do you, boo-boo, do you. Awesome. So now it's time for some beauty shots for you guys, so you can see the finished product one more time. So guys, you'll notice that I didn't bleach my closure. Before I forget, I just want to tell you how I managed to still slay it and make it look like it's my scalp without actually bleaching it. Because bleaching is a lot of work. If you want to do that, you can. But you don't have to. What you can do, alternatively, is simply use your face powder on the underside of your closure and lightly dab it on to blend the closure with your scalp. After that, you can put the wig on your head and then proceed to add concealer to the part, a concealer that matches your skin tone, of course, and that will really make the hair look even more natural. Ta-da, this is the finished product, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and shout out to Her Given Hair for this really, really beautiful hair. It's super fantastic, and I'm looking forward to the next video with it. Anywho, you guys, please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know how much you loved it by commenting down below. And be sure to share this video with all your friends. If you're not already subscribed, please do. And thank you guys so much for always supporting us. I really can't tell you guys how grateful I am. It's just awesome. Love you guys and God bless. I've been keeping it clean, no feeling. Oh, no, no, no. That's why I didn't sing this song so you feel me. Yeah, yeah. I just want to let you know. No, they hide.